Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. This is from data mining. In existing, uh, in existing system, we are using generalization and bucketization. Generalization loses bulk of information, and bucketization cannot have a clear separation between quasi identifying attributes and sensitive attributes. That's why we are introducing a new concept is slicing, a new approach for privacy preserving data publishing. And slicing can be used to partition the data both horizontally and vertically. We show that slicing preserves better data utility than generalization. And it can be used for membership disclosure production. And also slicing handled high dimensional data. It will be more effective than bucketization. The flow of the process start the process and select the data set and it will be extracted and it will be stored in a database after that we start the process generalization generalization it will it will take a data from a database and then start the anomaly process finally we show the generalization data sets uh, data and it will be stored in a database then we start the bucketization process. The bucketization process can take your data from your database. After that, we uh, view the identifier process and quasi identifier process. It is also stored in your database. Then we construct the multi set generalization. After we construct multi set attribute and it will be updated and it will be stored in your database. Finally, we see the slicing process. The slicing process consists of the following process, uh, column generalization and the tuple partition. Because slicing is the data both horizontally and vertically partitioned. This process also stored in a slicing database. Finally, we conclude the classification accuracy. The classification accuracy depend uh, based on the generalization, bucketization and multi-set generalization or slicing. Now I am executing the project. This is the project. The project will be executed. This is the home page of the project. Uh, these are the process including in the slicing project. First one is data set and generalization and bucketization, multi set, slicing, graph. These are the models in the slicing data, data uh, project. Initially, we select the data set, then browse the data set, select the data set. The data set name is slice data set. Now you extract the data set. The data set will be extracted successfully. Then we, we can select the view process. This is your original data set age, work class, final weight, education, execution number, marital status, occupation, relationship, race, gender, capital gain, capital loss, and etc. These data are retrieved from your database. Then we start the process generalization. This is the intro about the generalization. Initially, we load the process. Here, the loading process will be started. The loading process means it will take the data set from a database. The loading process will be completed. Then, you should select the anonymity process. The anonymity process will be started. Uh, it is also uh, considered a data in the generalization table. The process will be completed. Finally, we show the generalization data. Here, the age are merged. Age is what fully we known the address it means here 17 to 18. Uh, here the data are partitioned to two part two types uh, two divisions. First one consists of the uh, for example if the data set consists uh, 20 thousand records means the first 10,000 records in the first view, second of 10,000 records in the second view. Initially we, it will take the consider the Minimum age 17 and maximum age 19 below 10,000 records. Uh, here, minimum age is 14 and maximum age is 98 uh, about uh, 10,000 records. This is the generalization process. 
next one is packetization this is uh, just an uh, intro about the packetization uh, what is the what is identifier what is called quasi identifier that's all initially load the process in this situation it will take the data from your database to here the data um, will be constructed to bucket table then you start the identifier process and the identifier process is what we know the fully know the address process will be taken from the bucket table then we select the QIVU. QIVU means nothing but it is a cost identifier view. Partially we know the address. Then we select the uh, bucket assistant button. The bucket assistant process will be compl uh, completed. The data will be showed. Here uh, <coughs> it will be split into two parts. First, uh, last one column will be split at work class. The work class data are shuffled. And uh, these all are the same as the original data set. This is the bucketization process. After that, you can select the multi set data set, multi set option. This is the multi set generalization. These are the intro about the multi set generalization. Initially, load the process. The data uh, the data uh, data retrieved from a database into multi set. Then attribute partition. Attribute partition means the data will be partitioned depending upon the attributes. This attribute partition will be completed. After that, the attribute partition will be updated. So the updation process will be started. It will be go to stored in the updated. After you select the multi set generalization. This is the multi set generalization view. Here you know the view the clearly clear output. This all are the age, every person age, and the second one is gender. If the gender it consists of two fields. One first one is male or female. That's all. Final one is slicing attribute. Slicing it is also take a data from a database. Initially load load process. Our process completed. After that, we click the attribute partition. Attribute partition means column partition. The data will be partition. Partition. Then you click the tuple partition. Table process partition process will be started. It will take some time. Yeah. The process will be started and uh, to finish it, then we saw the slicing output. This is the final output of this our uh, proposed. This is the slicing output. Finally, we show the classification accuracy. We select the graph graph option. This is the classification accuracy of the project. That's all.